Welcome back to my channel. It's time to roll up those sleeves and dive into some action. We're talking about giving your third gen Tacoma the VIP treatment it deserves. An old change like no other. Whether you're a seasoned grease monkey or just popping the hood for the first time, this is the place where street cred meets garage wisdom. So grab your tools because I'm about to drop some knowledge on keeping your ride running smooth. Okay, let's go over the things you're gonna need. Uh, five quart oil with two one quart jugs. A funnel, parts cleaner, Makita Impact, ratchet wrench, extension bar, this is half, 10 millimeter, 14 millimeter socket, and a 3 8 square head or a 3 8 extension bar work. You need a plastic pick, torque wrench oil filter removal wrench by EWK, a drip pan, oil filter, and drain plug gasket. First things first, I like to pop open the oil cap and place it where the hood latch is located so that it'll remind me to reinstall it. Another reason for taking off that cap and the main reason it let some air rush into the engine making sure that old sludgy oil makes its exit smooth and swift. Ain't nobody got time for that slow drip, right? Plus it stops your vacuum from messing with your flow. Now it's time to grab your 12 millimeter socket and your impact gun and remove four of these bolts and then you'll be able to remove your skid plate. Next step, grab your drip pan and put it right under the drain plug. We're going to remove the oil drain plug with a ratchet wrench, extension bar, and a 14 millimeter socket. Once the liquid gold's done parting in the oil pan, I'm gonna grab my weapon of choice. I'm using a plastic pick and show that crush washer the trash can dance. We're all about fresh beginnings, so I'm gonna slap on a brand spanking new crush washer. Sadly, that's sold separately. Time to crank that drain plug to 30 foot pounds. No need for subtlety. Slide that drip pan underneath the filter housing. Now I'm ready to remove the filter housing bolt using a 3 8 extension bar or that oh so square 3 8 square head socket and just let the oil drain. Time for the filter housing itself to exit the stage, but brace yourself because it's going to be a drama queen. Whip out that oil filter removal wrench and a breaker bar and channel your inner muscle man. Seriously, it's harder to remove than a stubborn jar lid, so be prepared to wrestle. P.S. Breaker bars are your new BFF. The old oil filters got its eviction notice. Give it a boot. Don't forget it's rubber gaskets. We're not monsters. The filter should come with these rubber gaskets, one large and another small. Go ahead and lube up the big rubber gasket. Slide it on the filter housing. Now whip out the small one, same thing, lube it up. Go ahead and install that, and you've got yourself a snug dual. Let's welcome that new oil filter with open arms. Drench it in liquid gold like it's the hottest summer trend. Now it's time to pop that filter housing back where it belongs and tighten it with a firm 18 pounds of torque. Don't neglect the filter bolt. I'm going to give it a torque loving squeeze of at least 10 pounds of torque. Now the moment I've been waiting for, oil baptism. When you're blessing your third gen Toyota Tacoma with the good stuff, the quantity can play the it depends game. But hey, if you're repping that 3.5 liter V6 engine, you're pouring in around 6.4 to 6.6 .6 quarts of liquid awesomeness. Metric lovers, that's six to six and a quarter liters in your language. I'm gonna grab that oil cap I'm so proud of and stick it back where it belongs. Got a nose that sniffs trouble from a mile away. Spritz some parts cleaner on those oil drenched corners. A touch of freshness to stave off any burning oil blues. A 
Last but not least, the grand finale, the dash light showdown. Let's go ahead and turn on your rig, stroll over to the settings. Once you hit your settings, scroll all the way down to you see maintenance reset. Once you see maintenance reset, go ahead and press that tab. Done. You've just crossed the finish line, fams. Pat yourself on the back. Time for some action. If you ain't handsome, you better be handy, brothers. If you both think the man above, hope this video helped. I'll leave several links below to all the tools and items I bought to get this job done. But as always, thanks to you all who've been helping me with the algorithms by liking my videos, commenting, and subscribing. Peace. Right?